This instruction is going to be on raised toilet seats. Raised toilet seats, as a rule, come in three versions. Locking, non-locking, and locking with arms. The first one we're going to cover is the non-locking. The idea of a raised toilet seat is to increase the height in which the platform that you sit down is for people who have had hip issues, knee issues, uh, or simply raising and lowering issues. This particular version has a splash guard on the inside to help prevent, uh, help keep things more sanitary, and it simply sets down onto the porcelain portion of the commode. Depending on the type of commode, you may or may not have to remove the seat and lid, but as a rule, this version does not require having to take off the seat and lid. Second version is the locking commode. This particular version, as a rule, will require you to take the seat and lid off. And the way it works is that you have a lip here, you have a clamp here, a jaw. What you do is you put it in at an angle onto the porcelain, let it set down. Once it's in place, you simply twist this lock and it clamps this foot up against the porcelain to keep it in place and gives you a steady platform. The next one is going to be the same style with arms. So it's going to attach the same way up against the back of the commode, letting it fall forward, twisting it to lock it in place. Except now we have the addition of arms. The arms you can see are chevron shaped and they have a push button lock so that you can put them on and take them off. When you assemble these, the push buttons are always going to go away from the commode, set it in, push the button in, they lock into place. Same thing on both sides. And the idea here now is that now besides having a platform to raise, you now have a cushioned hand grip to again help you get off of the commode, off the toilet. Make sure that when you put these on, the arms, again there's two buttons, one pushes the other to lock them into place, simply push them in and they lock. Once you have these installed, then it's just a matter of using them until the patient or the person that is requiring them no longer needed them. Then you simply take it off. But again, as a rule for the locking versions, you are probably going to need to take off the toilet seat and lid to use these. If you have any questions, again, please feel free to call tech support and we'll happily answer your questions. Thank you.